Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a comparison of the A5 hardcover official bullet journal compared to the B5 soft cover notebook. These are both by Lloydstrom and I picked up the larger size since my bullet journal is completely full. I did use it for about a year and a half and it's time for a new one. So this time I opted for a larger version so I thought I would go ahead and do a comparison for you. Okay, so this is the A5 Lloyd's Term Official Bullet Journal. So we're going to get started with this one. This is considered a medium size. So first you have the band that holds the journal together. At the bottom you can tell that there are three different page markers and for me this was very helpful. When you open it up you do get an index and also a place to write a table of contents. I did use this for about a year and a half like I said. After your table of contents, that's when you are going to get a page for your future log. Now these dates are, I believe, from 2018, but I definitely did go ahead and use them. So after your future log, you're going to come to your blank pages. Now this is a dot grid sheet, so every single sheet in this notebook is going to have this dot grid. That's going to be continuous throughout the 249 pages of this bullet journal. Now towards the end of the bullet journal, you do get some information about bullet journaling, so you're not going to have the full 249 pages to write in. Now I'm going to show you the back of the bullet journal. You are going to get a little pocket and you can put notes and such in the back. Now this paper is going to be 80 GSM and the bullet journal is available in three different colors. The size of this bullet journal is going to be 5.7 inches by 8.26 inches. It is listed online for sale for $24.95 and that is pretty much the price that you're going to pay anywhere that you purchased this item. It is fairly thick for a notebook, so I just want you to keep that in mind if this is something that you're considering. Okay, so now we're going to switch over and this is going to be the B5 soft cover notebook. Now this has the elastic band to keep it closed as well. However, at the bottom, as you can tell, that there are only going to be two page markers. That's something to note that is going to be different from the two sizes. So with the B5 notebook, the first thing that you're going to get is a content sheet. And you're going to get a couple of these at the beginning of the planner. It's going to look a little bit different from the bullet journal. This is really minimalistic, so you can definitely use this as a bullet journal, but you can also use it as a notebook. This also is a dot grid system, so every single page is going to be the dot grid. Now this paper is also 80 GSM and that's going to be exactly the same as the A5 bullet journal. This B5 notebook does come in 10 to 14 colors just depending on where you purchase it from and it is going to have 121 pages. Now that is about half of what the bullet journal is going to have and as the retail price for this is $23.95 it's going to be about the same price. So that's something that you're just going to want to keep in mind when you're looking at the sizes and the features that you're looking for. Now we're going to directly compare the two just so you can see the difference. So as you can tell, these are two very different sizes and it's all going to be what you're looking for. The bullet journal is going to be a lot thicker than the notebook and that's just due to the amount of pages that it has. So putting these pages side by side, I think it's really easy to tell that the B5 is definitely going to be a lot larger. Now this can be something that is really great if you like to make lists or you really want to fill your notebook up. Or it can be something that's not so great because you may be intimida intimidated by the larger page size. I'm really looking forward to this and I'm going to update you guys as to how I'm liking it. Now, since both the B5 and the A5 have the exact same paper weight of 80 GSM, I just want to show you a smear test that I did in my bullet journal and then we can look at the ghosting. Now, this is going to be true for the B5 and the A5 notebook. Thank you. 
so I did end up turning the brightness down just a little bit so you guys can see. One thing with the Lloyd's Term products is that there is a lot of ghosting with pens. If that's something that bothers you, I would definitely steer clear of these products. For me personally, it doesn't bother me all the time. In my Plum Paper Planner, it does bother me a little bit, but with the Lloyd's Term notebooks, it's something that I plan for. These are the two notebooks laid right on top of each other. Now, I wanted to show you this notebook compared to my plum paper planner so you can see the size difference. Of course, one is a bound planner and one is a coil planner, so I think that's important just to keep in mind, but I want to give you a size comparison if you haven't physically seen one of the B5 notebooks. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!